to my channel. How are you guys doing? Hope everyone is doing great. If you are new here, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you're also welcome. So today, I'm going to show you how to drape on a bra cup. So I have this leftover fabric I'll be working with. I have my pins, I have my scissors, and of course my bra cup. Looking at the bra cup, you can see it has a dart. I'm supposed to use size 36, but because I don't want my bra cup looking very flat after draping, I bought size 38. So what I did is just to fold the bra cup into two this way, and I took a dart of half inch on both sides. You can as well get the midpoint of the bra cup, and from there take your darts. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to start draping. So the fabric I'm working with stretches this way and it doesn't stretch this way. So if you're going to be attaching a yoke or you're turning with a lining, what you're going to do is to place your cup this way, leaving quarter inch here. Remember that your cup has a quarter inch allowance around it. So you, the quarter inch you'll be leaving will serve as allowance to turn your lining, turn with your lining or attach your yoke. Okay, but if you are not doing that, what you are going to do is to cover up the top of your cup. Okay, and for you to do that, this is how to go about it. So what you are going to do is to, from inside, you are going to sew your fabric and your bra cup. With your quarter inch allowance to cover the top so by the time you finish sewing it should look like this before you start draping so i'll go over to the machine and i will show you how to go about it so i'm going to place my fabric this way this is the wrong side of the cup and this is the right side of the cup and this is the right side of my fabric and the wrong side of my fabric so what I'm going to do is to take the right side of my fabric, bring it to the wrong side of the cup, this way. Can you see this is the wrong side and this is the right side of my fabric. I'm going to place it this way, match it up with the top of the uh, cup. Can you see? I'm trying to bring the cup to the center of the fabric. Can you see what I'm doing? So I'm going to sew the top by a quarter inch. I'm going to sew by a quarter inch before I'll start draping. So this is it, can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to flip the fabric to the right side, can you see? Can you see the top? I've covered it, can you see? Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to pin down the fabric so that it won't be shifting while I'm dripping.
I'm done draping, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go over to my machine and sew on the quarter inch allowance on the cuff before I cut out the excess. So I'm done sewing around the cuff as you can see. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to cut out the excess. So while cutting, remember to leave quarter inch of your fabric to enable you join to the body of your blouse or gown that you're making. So this is it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to remove my pins. So this is the final look. Can you see? It is so beautiful. Can you see? Can you see? Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!